This is a Japanese fairy tale, and it's called The Boasting Bamboo. Once upon a time, on the slope of a high mountain in a land far away, there was a grove of bamboo. One bamboo was tall and strong, and its branches stretched high above all the other trees in the forest. It bowed to no wind that blew. So it came to feel that it was the most powerful thing in the world, and this made it very boastful. Another bamboo was very different from its tall neighbor. It was small and slender. Every wind that blew made it shiver and shake. It felt very sad because it was not tall and strong, too. Only one thing gave the little bamboo pleasure. On warm, sunny days, the children came to play in the cool, shady forest, and they had chosen the little bamboo for their very own. They sat in its shade all day long, playing their games and make-believe. When twilight began to darken the woods, the children would say goodbye to the little bamboo and go off to their homes, leaving its branches hung with flowers. This made the little bamboo happy until the big, tall bamboo began to make fun of it. Playing with the children is all you're good for, it would say. Now look at me. I am tall and strong. I shall make a fine mast for a ship, and I shall sail on the ocean and see all the great cities and foreign lands while you stay at home playing with the children. This made the little bamboo so sad that she could not say a word. One day, two woodcutters came into the forest and stopped in the bamboo grove. This one will make a fine mast for a ship, said one, patting the trunk of the larger bamboo. Out came their axes and saws, and down went the bamboo, and it was carried off to the seashore. The next day, the woodcutters came back to cut down the smaller bamboo, but the children were there playing under its branches, and they begged the woodcutters not to chop down their friend. To be sure, said one woodcutter to the other, there is not enough wood in this bamboo to make it worth much. You may keep your little bamboo, said the other woodcutter to the children, but you must dig it up and move it away from here, for we are cutting down the forest to make room for rice fields. The children agreed to do this, and the kind-hearted woodcutters helped them dig up the little tree so that its roots would not be damaged. Then they planted it again in a lovely garden by the sea. There, the little bamboo was very happy, for there were no bigger trees to shut it off from the sunlight and the rain. The children cared for it lovingly and came every day to play under its branches. One day there blew up a terrible storm. The sea beside the garden flung itself about in great angry waves, and the wind howled as it raced over the water. The little bamboo was frightened too, but loving care had made her roots grow strong and deep. Though she shivered and swayed and bent low before the angry wind, the little bamboo did not break, nor did her roots tear loose. A great wave came sweeping in from far out at sea. It flung up on the rocks before the little bamboo, the broken mast of a ship. The little bamboo looked at it sadly. Soon she recognized the tall, proud bamboo which had once stood beside her in the forest. I am sorry, said the little bamboo. Is there anything I can do for you? No, said the big bamboo. I have been smashed by the waves. How foolish I was to boast when we were both in the forest. You are so much happier, little tree, safe in the garden with the children to love you. After that, the mast said no more. In the morning, the woodcutters came and chopped it into firewood. Then the children came and sat under their friend, the little bamboo and made little boats from the chips the woodcutters had left. They did not recognize the tall, proud bamboo from the forest. Only the little bamboo knew, and she said nothing.